Oh, it's overflowing. Oh, it's happening. Three, two, two. one. Oh. oh my God. What's up science team? It's almost back to school time. So to get your gears turning and to get you back in the mode of learning, we're gonna create a super sized, super fizzy bath bomb science. I partnered up with this awesome company called Learning Resources, which makes learning fun like Nickopedia. And they sent me some new lab assistants, beaker creatures. So if you have kids, nieces or nephews, or younger siblings, this is the perfect toy to get them stoked on science at an early age, clearly. I'm a super fan. So because I love this set so much, we're going to supersize the Beaker Creatures Liquid Reactor Super Lab so big, in fact, that an entire human can fit inside of it. But before we get to that, let me show you how this toy actually works. First, you fill up these super cool shaped beakers called Erlenmeyer flasks. Then you drop in the reactor pod into the reactor chamber. From here, you pump the reactor liquid, which is water, with your hydro plungers into the reactor chamber. You then get to watch the chemical reaction with the reactor pod. And last, extract your beaker creature, identify them with their classification card, and see which of the 35 collectible creatures you got. And as a bonus note, there are a few limited edition golden beaker creatures, which are the ones you definitely want. Okay, so the reactor pod is essentially a bath bomb. They're made up of citric acid, baking soda, sodium bicarbonate, corn starch to hold it all together, and then salt. If you mix all those things together in a specific ratio, what happens is this, is that when it goes into the water, those ingredients mix in the water, uh, they don't mix dry, and then we end up with a very classic acid-base reaction, which is very similar to the baking soda and vinegar reaction that you probably saw as a kid with the volcano. So we end up with a bunch of CO2, and as that reaction happens very rapidly, the CO2 bubbles up and creates that foamy fizz. Okay, so this is the Beaker Creatures Reactor Pod. Here is our first bath bomb secret science recipe. It worked really well, and then we decided to scale up a little bit more, and then this is the one that we're using today. <laughs> what I think is really cool is that it's got these really cool lines in it. It definitely looks like a planet. It's very like universe-like. Here's how we created our giant sized bath bomb. Now we use the science secret recipe, which is different than all the other bath bomb recipes, like the typical ones that you see online. We mixed two parts sodium bicarbonate, with one part citric acid to one part cornstarch to one part ground up powdered salt. We're trying to avoid as much water as possible. So we did not use liquid dye and we did not use water in order to clump it all together. What we used is 90% isopropyl alcohol. So that's 90% isopropyl alcohol and 10% water. And you combine that together and that's the fluid that we used to actually mix it to where it was kind of like cement. And then we packed it all in to this big giant globe. Tamped it down with our secret science bath bomb tamper that we made and now this should be good to go. Um, this thing is massive. This is much larger than a beach ball. Again, you want to avoid water. Uh, you also want to avoid using Epsom salt and or Dead Sea salt because both of those have magnesium in it and magnesium attracts water. So everything that we did uh, just tried to get rid of all the water possible. Also, the dye that we used was actually powdered chalk because it is dry and it did not create a reaction between the citric acid and the sodium bicarbonate before we actually toss it in the water. So that's the concept and that is the secret science formula. Very next thing we need is we need a supersized liquid reactor and it just so happens. I actually have a hyperbaric chamber that we got from the TV show Tanked that we're going to be using for our super size liquid reactor. As one does in your garage who, who does not have a hyperbaric chamber in their garage. You don't. The bath bomb has a ton of salt in it. And so I don't wanna get all that salt into the yard. That'd be no good for the grass. And so we're gonna put this into a capture net, very similar to the actual learning resources liquid reactor super lab. You may have recognized this pool from other shoots, uh, such as 400 pounds of Roddy Newblock and walking on water with Smosh, Smosh Lab. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's so insane, dude. That is such a giant fat bomb. It's insane. Wow. Nice. Good, pick her up. Wow. Oh, This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy still. There's so much left. Oh my god. <laughs> that is so ridiculous. Whoa, the water is so purple. Right now, that is still fizzing, and it's been like five minutes later, there's tons of CO2 coming off of this thing. Inside of our giant bath bomb, just like the reactor pod, we have Beaker Creature toys, and I think that's actually what made it float. Um, and I am astounded by how much foaming is still happening. I mean, it's like a little asteroid, and it's still reacting. Wow, we still haven't got to our Beaker Creatures yet. There's still beaker creatures in there somewhere. Okay guys, so I uh, decided to get into my bathing suit really quick. Um, I was just getting soaked anyways. And I think I'm gonna hop on in there and um, check out and investigate the super-sized, super-science bath bomb. All right, I'm going in to investigate the beaker creatures to find out where they are. <laughs> I haven't found them yet. <laughs> We're starting to see the actual beaker creatures right there. That's the actual pod in there. So we're getting down to it. I cannot believe we actually chose perfectly center. All right, there we go. There is the money there, still dry. <laughs> oh, there we go. We got all sorts of good ones in here. Pretty sweet one. I think that's from the world of Frostonia. Nice. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, got a gold one. Limited edition. Okay, so there we go. We made a super-sized version of the Beaker Creature Super Lab. We learned about the science behind the ultra fizzy bath bombs. There's a link in the description below to get your own play size Beaker Creature Super Lab set. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you really soon.